I wanted to uh, invite you guys all here to celebrate the third anniversary of New Form Technology. Uh, we're celebrating that as well as we're celebrating the return of Frank Chester to give a lecture here at New Form Technology. It's been a very interesting last few years here at the Research Center and uh, some ups and some downs. Yet, um, through all the help of all of you, all of you here, all of you watching on YouTube, everyone that contributed to the GoFundMe campaign, for all of you, we get to have Frank here today. And so Frank is giving a lecture. It's going to be pretty mind-blowing. As you can see, there's so much stuff here. And uh, without further ado, I want to turn it over to Frank Chester. Very hard to find. 
and that's being supported. So this part here is the venous, which is basically the heart. Now the shape, the negative shape in there is like this. And that negative shape is very, very close, very, very close to the shape of the fifth chamber of the heart that I found through the journey. <coughs> so this is an inversion of the cup, and the cup is just suspended by a liquid. <coughs> so thank you again. as well as um, the newsletter that we, you've been all getting from us. Uh, Lilith and I have been doing the newsletter. Um, she's been doing a lot of the text, and I do a lot of the uh, images and photos, all the fun photos that you see at our events. I take the photos, and very happy to be here today and celebrate you and your health and your, your success. Oh, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank thank you. Much. Thank you. And uh, Dean uh, is also part of NFT, and uh, I'd like him to tell you, he gave a lecture here on this table, and I'd like him <laughs> to tell you a little bit about it. Uh, well, I've been inspired by, by Frank, of course, and his understanding of archetypes, and that there's a sort of a, a master plan possibly going on here, inspired me to look at the art of Eurythmy more as a science, and less as an art, and more try to find what phenomenologically is common to all of us. And so Rudolf Steiner gave this wonderful idea of eurythmy, uh, well, of how our larynx is our whole body. And if you go to YouTube, you'll, uh, you could look under my name, Dean Pollard, or Applied Eurythmy, or um, even World Eurythmy Day, and you can watch mm -hmm. that, that video, and there's other videos there if you're interested. And I just thank Frank for the inspiration to um, to look into the future like he does. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Jim. And Sebastian, would you come up here? Uh, Sebastian is also a member of our team. Uh, and what I mean by that is, is that uh, these people come in constantly you know, throughout the year. They're here all the time. And we only have six people that actually come here. So you're seeing all this work here done by these people on so Sebastian. We are very happy to have our captain back on the ship. <laughs> we did our best and the little part that I'm responsible for is to try to see how the, these forms that Franks have discovered, how could they be applied also in the world of agriculture and helping energize water back. So I've been doing that part of the research with a nursery in Watsonville, in Watsonville where we, it's a big, we're trying to help to find ways to stir organic preparations to help the health of plant be enhanced. And be, so I'll be presenting a bit later on different devices we've made to stir the liquids, also for human conceptions, looking on how these forms come from this new world can help us stay alive and strong and what happens with the plant is pretty impressive picture that most of the plant are able to bring more of their unique character the taste the flavor the essential oils get fuller and deeper so in a way the genius of each plant is able to 
take hold of the physicality and come in and show who they are. And if it's not the task of everyone, if these form helps plan do that, we could see that Frank is a living example of a human being who took hold of his life and his ring is unique gift. And these forms are doing that for anyone who works with it. And that's very um, the deepest to share that with all of you, to help bring his work to all of you, is what motivated me to find each of you and myself our unique gift. And if we all did that, this world would be very different. And it's not too late to fight for what we have to offer. Be here. It wasn't for Richard Traverso. Richard Traverso has provided the building. So Richard, can you please stand up. He has done all. Thank you, Richard. You're welcome. So um, I'd like to introduce my wife because of what she did to get me through this. So if you wouldn't mind coming up here, you go. I'll be great. Thank you so much for your help. Just like uh, one and a half year ago, Frank was diagnosed with cancer, and that was really shocking. But uh, everybody really helped us uh, so that we were able to go through this and then come out of this very difficult process. So Steve started the medical fundraising campaign and also helped us financially, and the many, many people really helped us financially too. This uh, donated money or offered some new medicine or herbal medicine. So many people helped us. And so just, it's amazing that Frank was able to uh, have this healing around his throat so that he's going to continue his work. And then you will see that new sculptures he made during this uh, treatment process. So I hope you really enjoy uh, this lecture. And then thank you so much again for your help. Thank you. down 
because of the catastrophe with the computer.